Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today in this video, I'm going to be explaining the difference between a financial analyst and an economic analyst slash economic consultant or economist. So essentially the difference between a financial analyst and an economist. This video is going to be very important for um, a lot of students who maybe are not even in the financial field, but it will be especially important for students who are doing economics, um, finance, who are in the final year or um, graduates who've just started their career and they're you know looking at both areas and not sure which one is right for them um this is the perfect video for you now the reason why i'm a good person to kind of explain the difference as well is because i was working as an economic analyst for an engineering company for like a year and a half and i recently got a new job as a funding analyst slash um treasury analyst or you know is, re is in the finance side so i feel like I, I got this job in april so i've been here for around five months now I've been here long enough to kind of notice some core differences between the two roles so yeah without further ado let's get into this video so now i'm going to just start off with okay financial analyst so let's start off with the core difference now with a financial analyst you're focused on financial analysis so that's looking at financial statements doing cash flow understanding profitability of a company and also looking at um, some roles involved looking at financial products like um, mortgages looking at financial securities um, you know doing trading just understanding like um, financial markets um, understanding the movements of money so that's specifically in a nutshell what um, a financial analyst involves now an economist is more to do with applying economic theories understanding um the needs of consumers understanding um you know supply and demand and how it affects prices and understanding competition and regulation informing policy that's what um you know being an economist in a nutshell involves so now i'm going to go into detail about what a financial analyst actually does so now as a financial analyst the job role could involve doing um cash flow forecasting more more or less that's probably every financial analyst job you're going to be doing that so that's monitoring um the flow of money is a way of obtaining um an idea of the company's future um you know cash flows and income and see if they're going to be in a very st stable financial position so a lot of financial analysts will be doing this task so that involves building um spreadsheet models um you know understanding the um cash in the business really understanding the cost and the outgoings of the business as a financial analyst you also be building financial models so building a financial model this can involve like understanding the balance sheet income statement profit and loss account understanding the investments of the business the assets the liabilities all of these things to build um, a financial model usually that is built again on the excel um, spreadsheet is designed to understand the performance of um, a business or it could be a project um, or it could be um, of a client's portfolio essentially that's what um, a financial model does usually when you build a financial model um, you can get really complex financial models so you can have um, an excel um, an excel workbook with many many spreadsheets where each tab has different purpose you have your inputs you have the different statements and they all flow together and you can really get complex financial models where they use um advanced excel um formulas so definitely as a financial analyst you really really need to be good comfortable with numbers um number crunching and really un um, be comfortable with building um spreadsheets and using excel software so definitely if this is the role you want to get into start getting comfortable with excel choose like a formula like for example the sum product formula research that try and get really good at it try and understand what it does its purpose and when you go into interviews you can just say that you know just talk about a formula you've used in excel so these are the key things um you want to the key skills you want to build when trying to get into um, a career in, as a financial analyst also as a financial analyst you can work in roles where you're looking at financial transactions um this could be um a, a merger between two companies or you know it could be a project you're working on where a company wants to change they want to change a financial agreement between them and another company because that's some legal documents involved in doing that um you know there's some financial modeling involved in that 
also as a financial analyst it involves looking at um roles some roles can involve looking at the stock market looking at financial markets understanding um why the price of a stock has gone down has gone up and that how that affects your business understanding inflation and how it affects the business and its profitability um if interest rates go up or down or inflation rises or goes down how would that impact your um how would that impact the co um, company's financial performance? As a financial analyst, you can work on um, roles that are involved um, understanding currencies as well. And you can understand um, you know, the derivative um, markets involved, involved in understanding commodities. So um, essentially, with uh, as a financial analyst, there are roles that you will do where you need to really gain an understanding of the financial markets and financial products, essentially. Whereas with an, as an economic analyst, that's not your focus at all to be honest only if maybe certain roles where maybe if you're working at an investment bank as an economist um you know there are some economists that really have a good knowledge of the finance of, of financial markets but that's with very specific roles but on the whole you're not really going to be working on um understanding like financial products as a financial analyst you really want to understand what makes what drives um profitability in a business what drives um revenue how can um, how can you lower costs those are the things that are um are your main focus another thing is as a financial analyst these roles actually i know that 70 to 80 percent of these roles must be required to have some sort of um accounting qualification or financial um or any financial qualification so that could be the acca um cma aca um also the cfa and there are lots of other um, qualifications out there but as a financial analyst most of them want you to have um, these qualifications there are some roles where you can get in and you don't need to have those qualifications but they want you to have some of them want you to have some sort of accounting knowledge so if you have a degree as a financial um in accounting that's great you can even become qualified much more easier because you have exemptions to these qualifications some entry level roles that can get you to working as a financial analyst within maybe a year or two um you can you can even get roles where there are entry level financial analyst roles but sometimes they want you to have some sort of experience so some roles that are really good with, um that is in the finance field that can help you get this job is working as an accounts assistant so any roles that you see tied to accounts assistant assistant accountant accounts payable role accounts receivable role those roles are really really good to um because it gives you accounting knowledge you'll be able to use an accounting software understand management accounts and what's great about those roles i know you might think those roles are quite low you don't need to do them for long if you have like one year max maybe two years experience a year and a half experience and as accounts as an account assistant or working in the accounts payable function even though that's only a small part of accounting you've gained experience working with accounts you you have also the opportunity to talk to other people within the finance team who are preparing management accounts um that's another thing as a financial analyst some of them most of them are actually qualified accountants so um some of your duties will include um preparing management accounts um financial reporting so as a financial analyst you can work in a range of um different fields so you can work for financial institutions obviously and you can also work in industries you can work for an engineering company construction company you can work for a retail company if you work for a specific company you're going to be helping with their financial statements on the understanding their business and how the, their business operates which is which is really useful or you can work um in a role whereby it's more related to understanding financial markets and financial products so different areas you can go down as a financial analyst now as an economic analyst uh, this role you can get a lot of people you can also work in financial institutions you can work for an industry like engineering company construction company a lot of economic analysts work within government as well as an economic analyst they apply macroeconomic and microeconomic theories depending on the role a lot of um, economic analyst role is really research based understanding the economic climate in the area that the project is in so for example if a council is building like a new road or a new station in a particular area i will understand okay what is that what's the economic condition in that area is so just to understand if that project is really required in that area is it going to generate benefits another thing with an economic analyst you're not really looking at only financial benefits and like monetary values you're also looking at economic benefits which is very different from 
and what a financial analyst does financial analysts don't look at economic benefits as an economic analyst you also have the opportunity to apply macroeconomic theories which could be very interesting is which helps inform policy like for example you can work in a role whereby you're involved in understanding and um, brexit and understanding how uk can actually make the exit um from the european union um easier or what kind of effect will they have in the future working as an economic analyst is quite forward looking whereas when you're working as a financial analyst it's quite reactive you're reacting to the market um you're reacting to what is happening with prices so it's very reactive it's very quick it's more fast paced whereas as an economic analyst you're trying to understand the climate you're trying to understand how um your know, future um positions you're trying to be um predictive so things don't really happen quickly um they happen more in the future so that's one thing i noticed with my role so when i was working as an economic analyst the project i was working on i couldn't see the impact straight away whereas as a um funding analyst treasury analyst um my role right now when i build a model i can see how it's being used in meetings like certain results from my model i can see how like the cfo and the director take um commercial actions to make better decisions from the numbers that i've produced so it's very very reactive so if you're someone that's more fast-paced you want to see the action you want to see react like you want to see your input and the impact you're having from the models you're building i think um being a financial analyst is a really great path as well also as an economic analyst you um, monitor economic data you understand um the macro conditions in the areas that you're looking at or if um or the clients you're working for so if for example if you're working on a project to do with a company that operates in the energy sector you get to understand the energy markets and what drives prices and um you know what drives um demand and supplies as an economic analyst you do economic impact assess assessments so building business cases um and that's what i did side note i actually have a video which i'm going to link down below and uh, um title what i do as an economic analyst so this is a video that explains everything that i did as an economic analyst in detail well when i was working as an economic analyst um prior to my current role so definitely check that out working as an economic analyst it would really help if you have an economics degree or if at least 50 percent of what you study is um, economics related and you would really if you really want to thrive in this um, career and you really see yourself becoming an economist long term i think even gaining a master's qualification in economics is even better you know a lot of companies a lot of roles do ask for you to not have a master's in economics as well but um it's not mandatory but just be aware that there are some roles that require that as well if you're in university right now or you've just started university or you're about to start university i think the perfect degree to do if you're not sure what role you want to go down the perfect degree to do is accounting and economics so that way you have at least 50 percent of economics within your degree that you can apply and a good understanding of economic concepts and theories and the other half doing accounting will help you um qualif qualify as an accountant because you will have um because you've done accounting part of your degree is um accounting you will qualify for a few exemptions so that way you maybe you might only have maybe five exams to do to be a qualified accountant which is really really useful that really helps you i think the accounting qualification is extremely useful it opens up a lot of finance roles for you to choose from all in all the main similarities is that with with both roles you really need to be good at data analyzing data being able to spot patterns in data and explain discrepancies in the data. I feel like um, as an economic analyst, depending on the role, I feel like you look at things more as a in the aggregate sense, whereas with a, as a financial analyst, you're, it's more, I feel like it's a more narrow and more focused on specific products. As well as with an, as an economic analyst, you're trying to understand the whole market. So that's the main difference but yeah the main similarities is that you do data analysis you need to be good with numbers you need to really be good with excel with both roles you're under you're trying to understand um, estimate benefits your monetary benefits as well so that's the main dif um that's the main similarity between these two roles and in some um, economic roles you do have the opportunity to um, build financial models but they may not uh, be as complex as if you're working as a financial analyst 
but yeah the main difference again if you work as an economic analyst you'll be able to apply your economic knowledge understand economic theory understand policy um that's the knowledge you gain as a financial under, um, analyst you really understand accounts on un understand financial statements how to build a cash flow you know how to do cash flow for, um, forecasting really understanding financial um, models and financial markets and understand specific finan um, financial products um yet yeah, that's the main difference between them but both roles are um they have great career prospects so it just really depends on what you want and what you find interesting um definitely don't feel like once you've got into a role that that's like if you're working as a financial analyst that's where you stay no sometimes i have seen people whereby it does cross you can be, be a financial analyst for a few years and then cross to um you know an economic analyst it is possible so definitely in your first few years early on in your career do not be afraid to um dabble in both pools to find out where you actually where your desire lies so thank you for watching my youtube video i do hope it's been useful and i will see you in my next video bye